Okay, so I'm just going to show you here if you for your this would probably be for the third assignment where you've got to make resources yourselves um, to uh, or something to get to get students doing stuff. Um, you might decide that you'd like to make a Sibelius file like the one that I showed you from the James Morrison kit or like the ones that you can download free off my website on the Paul Grabowski composition. So I'll just quickly show you how to do this. When you open a normal score in Sibelius and go to the ideas panel which as you can just see there is view panel ideas. Uh, it's full of all these ideas that come with Sibelius. Now under the preferences you can actually completely turn them off so they never load at all but then that might make you sad when you want to steal a drumbeat from there at some point. So you can see here show built-in ideas. If you uncheck that it will they'll never show up anymore. But when you give uh, worksheets to your students you won't want them to see all of those ideas because it's kind of a bit distracting and hard for them to focus. So maybe you want to give them just a few drum beats and you know maybe you're doing the ubiquitous 12 bar blues lesson or something like that and you want to give them a few 12 bar blues progressions and then they start doing their own solo. So th what you'll do is you'll actually create your own lines. It's a fantastic 12 bar blues line that I just created there and then you want to add those into the ideas hub so you highlight the uh, theme that you want to put in it and then you press this button down at the bottom here which is called the capture idea it's a picture of a light bulb being captured by a net of course because that's exactly what it looks like when you capture an idea um, so then maybe I'll have you know several Ooh, that's cool maybe I'll have several lines here um, uh, the shortcut if you'd like to just use the shortcut to capture them is shift and I and they jump into the ideas hub. So now we've got maybe let's just imagine that that's 10 different ideas I've given to my students to get them started off but the problem is that I can still see everything else in the library okay it's not so good. Well one thing is that that, that would help is if I click on the store button then I only sorry the score button then I only see ideas from this score but there's still a problem with that because how do we know that students are actually going to click on the score button? Well luckily, as long as you've saved the file, which I'll just do quickly now, um, as long as you've saved the file, if you go into the file tab at the top left, there's a little option that says show ideas from this score only. And once I do that and then go back into the score, you'll see that library and all are now greyed out. So if you do that to your Sibelius file and save it, then when the student opens it up, they'll automatically see just the ideas that you've given them. Um, the only other thing that I need to tell you is that in Sibelius 7, it should, if you've got the latest version, remember the layout as well. So if you actually put the Ideas Hub, if you open the Ideas Hub, it should be open when the next person opens the score. And it should even remember, it doesn't want to dock on that side, should even remember where it was docked or where it was left so you can kind of set up the screen. I can't get it to dock at all now. Anyway, ah, um, it'll even remember, it'll, it should even remember exactly where it, it was on the screen. And uh, the only other thing um, I should probably add, which is nothing to do with the Ideas Hub, but is with the uh, task one that you did of the James Morrison. Obviously, that didn't use the Ideas Hub. That just used a template with a score already written on and then a line for them to add. That's even a stage even easier.